Whether it's fixing your figures or talking about effect parts, it's all about quality of life with Steven's Toy Tips. Hey there everyone, Steven here, obviously it's going to be me, with uh, another tips video for you if you couldn't tell by the title. Now for this tips video, um, it's going to be a little interesting because with this one, um, I unfortunately can't directly show you the results. Why is that? Well, um, I have here a, uh, a Mothra figure. Um, and this one is suffering from something that uh, we like to call vinyl stickiness, if you will. Now, this can happen for a variety of reasons. Um, this could happen due to poor storage. Um, it's going to be stored in heat. Uh, for a long time. It could just simply be stored for a long time. Um, this could be due to the fact that maybe this was stored in a plastic bag. Uh, this is something that usually happens with marmot figures. If you take them out of a bag and they've been stored in there for five, six, uh, seven years, you take them out, they get real sticky. This is also something that happens with translucent figures as well. This is one of the reasons why uh, this Mothra figure um, is feeling a little sticky, feeling a little tacky. Uh, the SH Monster Arts Comic Con Explosion Godzilla, that one will also feel that way if you do have it in the box still. Mine is starting to feel that way as well. Uh, it's not really one you can show, but um, it's one if you have it, you definitely uh, can experience it. There's also mold release, which can happen. This method can also help with this. My uh, Monster Arts Gamera Plasma Ball. Um, it has mold release stickiness to it, so there is that. I showed this earlier actually with my Banpresto Giratina figure. I promised I would do the video with this, but unfortunately that's in storage. Uh, you actually got to see a little bit on some of the tendrils on it. So this is how you can fix that. So I just gave you a few reasons for why a figure you have might get sticky, it might get tacky. What is the solution to this? And actually the solution is kind of simple, um, but it can require a lot of effort. And you can do this pretty much at any point. What you're going to need is a toothbrush. Um, it can be an old one that you had. You can just go to the store. There's my alarm. Um, and just buy a dedicated one. This is actually one I have uh, dedicated to uh, guitar cleaning. Um, actually, no, I think this, no, this is not actually. This is the other one <laughs> that I have for um, cleaning up stuff. Uh, the other one. No, yeah, this is one I just use for cleaning figures. The guitar one looks somewhat similar. Uh, but yeah, this is one I have, I use just to clean up figures. Um, and what I do with it is I just use this dish soap and tap water, okay? So here's what you do. You get the tap water running, and what you want to do is you're going to want to feel it. You're not going to want to use super hot water, but you're going to want to start there and get it warm. Put Mothra down. We don't need to hold Mothra for this part. All right, once you got the water warm, wet the toothbrush and get a little bit of soap on it. Rub it in a little bit. You can turn the water off. And then, real simple, pick a section of the figure. And just real gentle like clean it up. I put a little bit too much um, soap on it. It should not be so much. But basically, you do that, you let it air dry, and that will take care of the stickiness. And then, if you're worried about um, water, blot it with a paper towel. And yeah, it doesn't feel sticky anymore. So that'll take care of any stickiness from translucent figures, that'll take care of mold release, that'll take care of pretty much anything. So model 
uh, makers, you know all about this already, so shouldn't be a surprise to you. But uh, for you vinyl kaiju folks, this will be good for you. For those of you who maybe have an older Figma or something, um, you can use this. Totally safe for that. I've done this plenty of times. Yeah, this is the way to go. Yeah, Mothra is not feeling sticky at all. This wing's feeling tacky. This one's not feeling real smooth. All right, I'm going to clean up Mothra because Mothra actually has a new owner waiting to ship her out to him. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it helps. If it does help, drop a comment down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, um, maybe I can help you out. Maybe not. We'll have to wait and see, okay? All right. Thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.